tell me a little bit about your relationship with your, you, you said agents, so you have more yeah. than one? Okay. Um, your agents and your, do you have a manager? Yeah, dude, boss lady. Boss lady. All of you guys need to be, okay. This is, is that I, like a technical term? Yeah, or? boss lady. Yeah. Hello. Has anybody heard that term, please? <laughs> boss lady? Yeah, okay. My business name is Alpha Pants, because that's what my husband calls me. <laughs> but he's Omega Pants. He gets the final word. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So you are the CEO of your own company, so you have to act like it. You know, we're all actors, we all wanna have work and whatever, but you have to go into these meetings and know that at the end of the day, they're actually your employees. Yeah. You should treat them well because everybody wants to work for a good boss, but the truth of the matter is, I'm the owner of the football team, my manager is the quarterback, and my agents are the players, and I can draft out any one of them at any time. Um, so if things aren't going well, I will call a meeting. I mean, I'm an East Coaster, and I yeah. make them so uncomfortable. And I'm like this little five foot two woman that's like bringing muffins into their agency, and I'm like, hey boys, what's up? Here's some muffins. Let's talk. And they're like, let's talk about your dog first. I'm like, my dog has nothing to do with my career. Let's talk business. So and it's always very uncomfortable for them. You know, they're like, ah, I'm like, and I'm like, ugh, East Coast. Like, just let's get to it. So they know that. Um, I fired them before and rehired them because I'm just like, you know, this is not going to fly with me. Like, you don't get to put pressure on me before an audition. I know it's a big deal. Like, I will go and bring my A game. Um, but I just like, Stone Manners is my agency. I love them. They're very upstanding, um, moral people, which is very rare in this industry, I think, especially for agents. But I definitely have called meetings before when I'm like, hey, what's up? I haven't had an audition. I'm available. I get the breakdowns illegally. Hello. And, you know, like, I know these casting directors, this director, and I'm perfect for this. It's like generally on paper. And I know what I'm not right for. I mean, they've called me before, and I'll be like, no dice. Like, I'm not going into that office because I've, they already liked me and I'm not going to be able to pull this off. Yeah. Like, I would love Breaking Bad. I'm never going to play a meth head. Like, spoiler alert, like, I'm not going to play a meth head prostitute. I love that you think I could play that, you yeah. know? But, like, I'm not going to be able to play that. I'm way too wholesome. That's my typecast, except right. for Teresa. Um, Day's character. <laughs> you know, so I will call meetings and be like, what's up? Why, have, why has this happened? You know, and it's a teamwork. It's team effort where you're not like pointing fingers and saying you, you, you. But it's like, look, do I need new headshots? Do I need to like, up, you know, refresh my reel? Do I need to go meet this casting director? Like, what's the deal? Because I'm working my ass off 24 hours. I always say that if they, they take 10% commission, I know it's 20% with an agent manager, but you're doing 90% of the work. And if you act like, if you are that client that knows that you have to put in 90% of the work, they're gonna wanna hire you or they're gonna wanna sign you because you're an easy client, you're an easy sell for them.